It's the final game of the season for Southampton's under-21s this Monday night. Newly crowned champions Manchester United are the visitors to St Mary's and after four games unbeaten, coach Martin Hunter hopes Saints can continue their good form into the season finale. We were in a pretty pre precarious position at one point, but uh, thanks to the players and their uh, levels of performance, um, we're now six in the table, which is very pleasing. Um, we're going to play against the champions at, um, at St Mary's on Monday, so uh, that's going to be a great challenge for all. Is there anything that has changed to, to turn the form around? Not particularly. I think the younger players have got used to playing at, the, at this level. Um, the senior players that have come in, I'm talking about Harry now, I mean, he's in age he's not a senior player, but he is with his experience. They've helped to sort of gel the squad for the last, um, the last four games. So the performances have obviously been more consistent um, with, with three wins and, 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 a, and a draw. So that's, uh, that you know, bodes well for, uh, for Monday and the future. Is it perhaps a shame that there is only one game left now? Yes, we've got some momentum now. So, uh, but that always happens. It always seems to come in, in bursts at, with the players of this age. But um, we look forward to the, you know, the last game of the season. Well, Saints come into this game off the back of last Monday's 3-2 win over Norwich. Josh Sims scored the stoppage time winner to earn all three points. Striker Sam Gallagher also netted in that game and he spoke about the confidence that the win had given the side. Yeah, I think um, not just sort of my own confidence but everyone else's as well. Um, we know we've been playing a lot better so it's shown in the results as well. And it has been a good few weeks for you, hasn't it? You must be delighted. Yeah, definitely. It's been uh, good weeks in training, games, everything good weather as well so yeah no it's all uh, it's been a good good few weeks and yeah like I said the results have shown that. Do you think it's the reward for the hard work you had to put in when it perhaps wasn't going your way at times this season? Uh, yeah I think so I think sort of everything everything you do sort of comes around comes around at one time or another so it's not a case of if it's not going well for you at some point you've got to know that just to keep going and maybe things will turn around and yeah, they have done at the end of the season. It's just a pity it's sort of come so late, really. What do you think they'll be approaching the game like? Because they've obviously won the league already now. Yeah, well, we, we weren't sure if they were... or if they uh, have won the league by the time they sort of play us. So um, it's maybe a bit bit of a relief for us that they've maybe won it already, but uh, as they won't, maybe won't bring down as many, as many big uh, older age players as they have done. Um, but no, then it also takes away a bit of the competition for it, so... It would have been nice to stop them winning the league at St Mary's, but uh, no, I'm sure we'll uh, do our best to beat them anyway. And you can watch live from St Mary's as Saints take on Manchester United this Monday night. That's right here on YouTube. Kickoff is at 7pm.